all started, we were in sixth grade. We were concerned about climate change. Because of sea level change, Miami, out of all the coastal cities in the world, will have the greatest economic loss. At a certain point, we couldn't stop thinking, is there anything that we can do? I'm Nicole Martinez. I'm Melissa Quintana. I'm Madeline Cowan. I'm Larissa Weinstein. And, and we're the Green Team! The Green Team would go around from homeroom to homeroom telling students about one thing that they could do to reduce their carbon footprint. We started by turning off computers. We began to recycle. We turned off lights. We actually weather stripped the doors and windows so that the air can't escape to conserve air conditioning. We turned off the AC units. Instead, we opened the windows and the doors. We could hear birds singing outside. There are so many little things that you can do that will save energy and money. Throughout the school year, we had this thing called the Greenometer. It was a thermometer. We would see energy that we were saving. We became a Dreaming Green School, which is a nonprofit that helps us to save energy, reduce our carbon footprint. We save tens of thousands of dollars. We learn how our actions affect the environment and affect something greater than ourselves. My friends and I called in somebody to give us an estimate on putting in solar panels. The man who came in emphasized that before we need to do this, we can try to reduce our energy consumption. And one of the great ideas that he gave us was to paint the roof of our school white. We convinced them to actually donate all the materials, the time, and the manpower to paint the roof of our school white. Painting the roof white saved us thousands of dollars. It didn't require as much air conditioning that translated directly to money savings. We didn't just do this ourselves. We built an entire network with um, faculty, administration students, and other members of the community. Our principal allowed us to look at energy bills, so we were able to do an energy audit on the entire school. And you can go online to put in your address and it does energy audits. It gives you graphs on how much you're saving or what exactly. you can do. It gives you tips. Yeah. And I it think that's It compares it to the same month right. of the previous year. It just became an incredible project. It became something beyond my wildest dream. And all of our teachers were very helpful. We spoke with the custodians and convinced them to play a part in going green. Sure, I'll come back. Thank you. If we custodians should see an air condition on, we turn it off. So we are going greener, and I'm proud to say that. We we're able to uh, vastly decrease the amount of energy our school used. Going green is a win-win situation for everybody. My eighth grade year, we saved thirty-nine thousand dollars, and then the year after that, we saved another fourteen thousand. If each school in the district were to implement these, we would have saved $33 million. That's awesome. Larissa, Maddie, Melissa, and Nicole wanted to go beyond the classroom with what they had learned about energy and environmental science and make a difference in their school and community. We made a presentation for school board members about how the entire district could be more environmentally friendly. They were extremely inspired, and they also saw the financial benefits of going green. The savings were astronomical. It was exciting to go to these school board members. You could show them the data. You could say, look, you have no idea how much money you could be saving. Our students went and spoke to the authorities at the Miami International Airport. Throughout our presentations with the school board chairman with um, Miami International Airport, we emphasized that it doesn't take that much to reduce your energy consumption. We were taken seriously because we had real statistics and information. We could show the people at the airport, this is how much you will save. It was something that we were really very proud of. Not only are we making a change at the school level, but we're trying to make a change citywide, nationwide, worldwide. Maddie and I graduated from here at Carver, and we then moved on to Coral Gables High School coming off this sort of high of change and excitement and everything we were doing here at Carver. We had a list. We wanted everything we had done at Carver to happen at Gables. Almost the entire school at this point is recycling paper and plastic and cans. Going green really helps save money everywhere. 75% of the money that we save at our school gets returned to us. We've saved four or $5,000 this year at Gables High alone. Small changes that add up to big savings. You can save millions of dollars, and this is just one small county in Florida. Can you imagine if every other county did this? Can you imagine if every other state did this? 
it's right on so many levels, you know, the, a moral level and at a financial mm -hmm. level. It's and despite all these obstacles, it's just if you keep trying, yeah. you can't lose, you're saving money. And more importantly, you're saving the planet. Kids do have power. Kids have a say in what happens. I felt like I could change things. I could just strap on my cape and go.